Living here, we very quickly found that Bodo Inn is not just a home, not even a lifestyle. Bodo Inn is a way of life and one which we have thoroughly enjoyed. On the north side of the Mauvac estuary, which is one of the most beautiful estuaries in Britain, Bodo Inn is in a southeast facing horseshoe, protected from the prevailing winds, a sun trap in the mountains, looking out over the estuary to Cader Idris. Set in beautiful, easily manageable gardens, it has been a wonderful place to live. The rooms are small enough to make it comfortable for two people, but with enough space for a much larger family or group to feel quite at ease. There are three reception rooms and a library, sunny and airy and all with fantastic views. There is an entrance hall and kitchen that have fabulous period features. There are comfortable first floor bedrooms with equally great views. Most first floor rooms have ensuite facilities. In addition, there are intriguing attic rooms that can be used to accommodate bigger groups. The kitchen, which is large and a joy to work in, has a listed ingle nook with a wood-burning rayburn. An ancient listed bread oven is set in the wall. After a day in the mountains, unwind in the sauna. What could be better? In the summer, the sun streams into the house. In winter, the warmth of log fires makes the house a cosy haven. An amazing place for a family Christmas. The house comes with about 10 acres of land, mostly woodland, wrapped around ornamental and walled gardens. They contain many viewpoints. Outdoor living comes naturally. With a summer house for cooler times. The view over the estuary defines the house. It never tires. With tides and weather, it often changes every five minutes. It is truly a house to be enjoyed. We bought the house in 2001. Since then, we have extensively redeveloped it. It has been almost completely re-roofed with the exception of a small area. In addition to major renovation of the building, we added the main conservatory. This can be used all year round and is now the room we use more than any other. It is a house that has the potential for generating substantial income. The coach house and the stables can be used as part of the main house or can be let commercially. There is no restriction in their use. The coach house has two bedrooms and can accommodate four people comfortably. The stables is a studio with a double bed settee and separate kitchen and shower room. Just into the woodland there is a ruin. We have a pre-application letter of likely support for development of holiday accommodation. A structural engineer's report shows that there is no reason why it could not be redeveloped. When you buy into a place like Bodo Inn, you buy into its history. Bod Owen in Welsh means the abode of Owen. We think the Owen of Bod Owen lived at the beginning of the 20th century. Harold William Tillman was its most famous occupant. He was known as Bill Tillman to his friends. He lived here from 1947 to 1977 and is still well known in the area. A war hero, a mountaineer, who climbed more unclimbed peaks over 20,000 feet than anyone else in history, in his latter years a sailor and one of the founders of the Three Peaks Race. 
many will still know Bod Owen as Tillman's house. The new owner of Bod Owen will be buying something out of the ordinary. It is truly a very special and unique home.